Hello, today's video is on our stock number 32046TE or the uh, Unity UT33B model digital multimeter. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different here. Uh, I had a customer ask, how do you install the 9 volt battery? So I'm going to do that first before we get into the function of the meter. Uh, you would simply remove the rubber boot and take a small Phillips screwdriver and there are two screws at the base of the meter you have to remove. And be very careful not to lose the two little screws because they're very easy to fall on the ground. And at that point there is a seam here along the edge. You just take your fingernail and start and it pops apart. Uh, I think this is what's causing the confusion. They have these nice little full metal tabs for making contact. Uh, actually, this is with the, the, the battery holder itself, this side here. Um, they do not come with batteries, uh, so you do have to install your own. I personally don't really like the ones the manufacturers send with them anyways, because I find they have a tendency to, to leak a lot. And that's what's really nice about these terminal stakes, is you can very easily wipe them off and uh, replace the battery. Uh, most most 9 volt snaps have a tendency to, to corrode and ruin the snap right right then and there. So right off the bat, uh, you hopefully you can see in here there is a, a plus and a minus to tell you which way the battery goes in. You notice the plus on the, the battery itself, so holds it in place and you just simply put the uh, cover back on. Then replace the screws. and then put the uh, rubber boot back on and it's functioning. Okay, now if that's your only question, uh, you can stop watching the video now. Uh, now to the, the features of the meter itself. This is a backlight, you can turn it off and on. We'll leave it on for demonstration purposes. Um, as I can tell, there is no auto off. I ran it for about an hour and a half on my desk, uh, and it, it stayed on. Comes with the test leads, a manual. Uh, the manual covers the B, C, and D version. Be sure you understand that, because you'll see functions for other meters that are not on this one. Comes in the box, and the test leads. Test leads have these nice little safety caps. Then you have common, and for most of the features, you will use the the center. Okay, then let's see where. Let's start at 2,000 millivolt. Have a nice little battery here. We will use also later on in the demonstrations. You see, on um, 1,632 milli, millivolts, or you simply go to the next range, the 20 volt range, and it will show. 1.62. That's uh, the DC 200. Now they get into AC. Oh, didn't set that up. Let me grab this out of the back of my bench top power supply. Have AC. As you can see, 119.2 volts. Plug my bench top power supply back in. Now you get into a battery tester. This actually puts a load on the battery. For 1.5 volts, it's a 30 ohm load. Uh, for 9 volt, it is 1.8 K ohms. And for 12 volts, it's a 240 ohm internal resistor load. So we can use our battery again here to, to, to test it, see what it's like under a, a load. As you see, it's testing at 1.54 volts for your AA battery. Uh, then the next, you have 9 volt, 12 volt, then you get into a diode tester. 
this is one thing I don't like about this meter is that you could have very easily just added an audible continuity tester also but uh, for some reason they didn't that is unfortunately the way it is um, so use your test it so you can see the diode tests good anything over between what is it 0.5 and 0.8 for a silicon diode is, is standard now we get into the amp range uh, we're going to start off at the 200 millivolt range uh, the terminal stay right there I happen to have my bench stop power supply and a little motor off stage just to show you the load the current there we go and you see it's 6.2 milliamps. Okay, now we get into the 10 amp section. Now, this is what I've always warned people, and they, they actually printed it, printed it on the face of the meter. It's unfused. It's uh, for 10 seconds max each 15 minutes, which means you would have to let it cool off if you're going to run it near 10 amps for more than 10 seconds or near 10 seconds. But you switch this over to the 10 amp range. Switch your red lead over to the 10 amp area. I'm just going to happen to short out my little bench top power supply so we can see. Yeah, 3.2 amp load. Like I said, keep in mind not to uh, not to run it for more than 10 seconds. Then you get into resistance, and let's see. Do you have a couple of resistors over here? Let's see what I got. I believe. Oop. That's what happens, you don't put the lead back. That should be my one mega ohm resistor, I believe. Yeah, have to be careful not to, uh, your fingers can, can definitely skew the reading on the higher ohms. And then my other one here should be, I believe it was a 22. Okay. That's the ohms, that's that. Obviously it has a hold feature. You press the hold button, obviously it's gonna hold. Press it again to release your backlighting. That is the basic operations of the meter. I hope this explains uh, a little more about it. Thank you for watching our video.